All right, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to Bane oh, Break It Down for us. This is your boy, Big Bane, in this thing. And guys, we back. All right, almost like we never left. You know what I'm saying? I want to wish everybody right off the rip, you know, a happy new year, right? Ball drops tonight. Hope y'all have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Pop them champagne bottles. You know what I'm saying? Have a good time with your friends and family. But, you know, we back, guys. And man, it feels so good because, you know, we've been waiting, right? You know, all over through the holidays, right? We've been itching and scratching trying to get to some trades but the market has been slow you know things uh you know came to a halt and you know we didn't get much of anything but starting this week we exploding right back at it guys just want to let y'all know right out the gate like around two wednesday wednesday is when we have news uh all throughout the rest of the week after wednesday for the dollars so things will get jumping uh you know back to normal and uh you know we'll be making it a great year this year all right, so guys, if you aren't a part of my Discord, I highly recommend that you guys get in the mix, right? Because again, you know, it's just going to be amazing. I don't really know what else to say but that, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, with all that being said, let's get to it, guys. Boom. All right, so on the dollar, right, uh, we basically had a break of a trend line, so we had a change of character. We consolidated a little bit, um, and now it looks like we're going to start heading up on the dollar. So overall, I'm bullish on the dollar. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the only time, uh, the only other thing that I do see is that we could reject this uh, order block and begin to fall. But all of this will show a space, you know, once news uh, comes out. So, you know, Monday, nothing, right? Tuesday, probably going to still consolidate or stay within this range. But definitely on Wednesday, we're going to break above or, you know, we're going to start to fall and we're going to play it accordingly. But just because we got the change of character, uh, and we made this higher low. I'm bullish on the dollar. All right. Over to our majors. Let's see what we got. All right. So we are on the odd dollar. And here it is, guys. Bearish market structure. All right. So we had a break of a trend line here. Did a little dance, drop, pull back. And we got a perfect, you know, 68 rejection on the fib, uh, most likely, or at least close to it. And then the bears showed up with the bearish engulfing candle uh, right here. From the order block after mitigating it and we're heading down so i'm bearish on the odd dollar again that lines up with the dollar rising all right uh euro dollar same kind of situation all right we broke the trend line so we had a break uh let's get this right bring it to the front all right we had the break of the trend line we went and made uh you know this floor high the lower low and you know we're just kind of edging around uh you know the low of what is this uh friday so the lower friday uh and it looks like we're probably going to continue to head down on the euro dollar so i'm bearish on the euro dollar all right over to pound dollar all right pound dollar you know it's kind of mimicking uh it's brother and sister the euro and the odd dollar except that you know it's respecting this order block this major order block so again we could get a rise from this right we begin to do that we got this nice little equal lows here and then we started rising but you guys can see we're failing to break above here so right now we're just consolidating but um i'm expecting news to give us a breakout in either direction and at that point you know that's probably where you know we want to get on the train and head uh in the same direction but right now i'm going to say bearish uh just because these lows sorry these highs are getting lower uh, it's just that we definitely need to get below this order block before I'll feel uh, completely confident that it will fall. All right. So bearish on the pound dollar. All right, guys, over to New Zealand dollar. Again, you can see how price rose up. We broke the trend line. I'll put it so you guys can see the visual. All right. Whoop, there it is. Right. New low. Right. Lower high. So again, I'm expecting it to continue to fall bearish on the New Zealand dollar. All right. Over to pound odd. And on pound odd, guys, is is uh, let's get here. All right. So what I'm seeing is, you know, we were falling, 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 but then we made these equal lows. So this is textbook double bottom. All right. So boom. All right, and bam. So there you have it. Right. Two equal lows, giving us our double bottom. Now I just needed the break above the net line. And I will be bullish on the pound uh, odd, all right? And we also have the trend line kind of, you know, breaking just about there like that. So uh, this actually looks like a little falling wedge, all right? Boom. Oh, oh, 
Get that back. And wait on it. All right, there we go. So there's your falling wedge with your double bottom. I'm bullish on the pound odd. All right, over to pound cat. All right, same kind of situation here. All right, where we broke the trend line, came up, you know, uh, we did make a equal high and then a higher low. So um, it mitigated that order block. Again, I'm expecting it to get above here and rise. All right, guys. And if it does, uh, we're definitely going to be headed up. So I'm bullish on the pound cat, right? Pending the break of resistance. All right, over to pound Swiss. Again, guys, double bottom, right? Coming from a major downtrend. Again, it needs to get above here. And I will be bullish on the pound CHF. So all the pound pairs, again, bearish all of last week, right? But now, uh, possibly turning around and, uh, you know, we're probably going to start heading up and become bullish on these pairs, all right? So pound Swiss franc, I am bullish, all right? Pound New Zealand, all right? Again, we kind of have uh, these lower lows being created with the double bottom right here. If you put on the RSI, we do have divergence, all right? So again, chart is making lower lows. Uh, RSI is making higher lows. And we've already, um, let's get to a lower time frame really quick, guys. All right, here we go. And now you can see, right, that bit of a double bottom. We broke above it, retested it, right? Nice rejection off the 61.8 from this high, I mean, this low and this high. Uh, and I expect us to continue rising, at least getting to this level on um, Fibonacci, which is roughly 120 pips. All right, guys, so bullish on the pound New Zealand. All right, over to pound JPY. Looks bearish. All right. Um, I'm probably not going to trade it, but it definitely looks bearish. So uh, for the GJ, I am bearish. All right. Dollar at. All right. Got the double bottom and it looks bullish. All right. Now, even though on the dollar index, it looks uh, bullish as well. Um, you know, here on the dollar at, you know, the double bottom, you know, gives it more. It's almost even a triple bottom, uh, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and bring this one over. Hey, whoop, there it is. Oh, get it right. Come on. All right, boom. All right. So almost a triple bottom, getting up to the neckline, about to break it. If we get above Friday's high, guys, we're definitely going to at least get over to this previous high. And we're talking, see, come on out. Roughly 111 pips. All right. So bullish on the dollar cat over to the dollar CHF. Again, this is the one that mimics the dollar index the most. And again, another double bottom, guys. Signs are always there. You just got to know how to read them and uh, take advantage of them uh, in the right time frame. All right. But uh, another double bottom. If we get above that neckline from Friday, we're definitely going to be headed off to the races from bullish on the dollar CHF. And last but not least, in our majors, dollar JPY. What do you know? Another double bottom. Okay. So with this, uh, it's a little tricky because it still looks a bit more bearish. All right. But uh, again, if we rise and get above that neckline, we can you know turn bullish on the dollar JPY. And it's not all the time that when the dollar looks bullish that the USD JPY will rise. All right. That is the normal correlation. Okay. But uh, there are plenty of times where the dollar looks bullish, but we're still falling on a pair like the dollar JPY. All right. So that'll do it for our major pairs over to our commodities. All right. The ones that make us all the money. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here on gold. All right. You guys can see that we were rising. All right. And then we started this pullback. OK, so with dollar looking uh, bullish, typically that would cause gold to fall. And right now, that is the structure that we're in as we're making lower lows and lower highs uh, coming to this uh, order block, okay? So now the order block's already been mitigated, but we're still creating that lower high. So what I'm expecting uh, is for gold to fall, all right? But again, that's only if the dollar rises, pending news that we have coming out on Wednesday. So you just gotta be careful, all right? But uh, what you wanna see is gold break below Friday's low. And below this order block, if it does, guys, get ready to sell gold. It will at least get to, you know, any of these levels that you see down here. 
but the major swing is right around this area, um, 2030, all right? And that is a, a big move from 2060, about a $30 move. That's 300 pips on gold. So again, bearish on gold. Oil, guys, um, I don't know. Uh, we did break the trend line. We went and made new lows. I think we could fall. And again, that's typically what it will do when the dollar rises. So I'm just going to go with bearish for now. But again, we're respecting the, the order block and that, you know, that could still have price turn around and rise up. But just from the looks of the trend line and how it's hanging uh, around that support area as if it wants to break it, I'm going to go bearish on oil uh, for this week. All right. Over to the big dog, NAS. All right. NAS broke a trend line. We actually have a rising wedge, broke out of it, made a new low, and it retested that fair value gap. To the T, guys, I'm bearish on NAS right out the gate. Um, I'm going to be selling it. My position will look like this, all right, right above that fair value gap. Give it a little wiggle room, all right, possibly, you know, above the high, but just about, mm, yeah, I'll put it above the high, all right, to survive it and get a one to two, right? Boom, bam. Oh, a little more, all right, there it is. And that's how I will be taking NAS right out the gate, ladies and gentlemen, all right? Uh, bearish on NAS over to US 30. Uh, same situation, guys. Looking at it from a higher time frame, that's a nice, clean, stair stepping action to the upside. And then we broke it. And if we look at it on the lower time frame, everything is happening in, in textbook fashion, right? We had the break, had the retest, mitigating the order block, right? Right to the area that we broke. And now the bears have shown up. So again, I'm selling US 30 right out the gate. Uh, stop right above the order block and taking it for my one to two and there we go all right so bearish on us 30 right out the gate and same old same for uh spy guys a lot of times you'll notice nas us 30 spy they all kind of mimic each other and uh you know they follow you know the same direction if you will so if you're selling one or buying one you can most likely sell or buy the other ones in the same fashion, all right? So again, another position on SPY will look like this, right? Right at my Fibonacci levels to the T, guys, all right? Um, again, bearish on SPY, and that'll do it, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully you guys were able to, you know, get some nice plays out of this for the upcoming week of the new year, all right, guys? Please like, comment, and subscribe to the page. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Got a lot more content on the way. You guys are going to love it, all right? Um, also, check out my Forex music. All right, guys, head over to BeatStars. I'll drop the link in the, in the description of the video so you guys can check out some of the Forex music. I got double tops, corner resistance, right, pips, you name it, guys. I give you the game all in the form of music, and trust me, it's, it's, it's bumping. All right, so, um, you know, support your boy. You know, let your friends and family know. Get them in the mix, and, uh, you know, have a great new year, guys. Don't, you know, don't make these resolutions. You feel me? And just like sit on, you know, sit on your hands or, you know, sit on your, your butt, right? Get up, get out, get it done because uh, that's what it's all about. Me and my team, we're going to be getting to it. If you are motivated, if you're ready to go, all right, if you're tired of taking the L's and everything else from whatever you've been dealing with with Forex in the past, come on over, all right? Because we finna get it, all right? But in the meantime, in between time, y'all know what it is. Let's go Dolphins, and I'll see y'all later. Peace. Thank you.